Good morning everybody, welcome to a daily vlog, or maybe a two day vlog, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, um, but I decided to pick up the camera and start vlogging because I feel like it's been forever since I vlogged and I need to get back into the swing of things. So today is going to be quite a fun day, I've already had a fairly busy slash productive morning, I went to the gym for the first time in two weeks, the first time since our trip to Greece, and I didn't go too hard. I didn't come out of the gym feeling like, yeah, that was a good session. So I've got a personal training session tomorrow, which will definitely make up for it. The main reason for wanting to go to the gym is that I had some new gym clothes, and that definitely motivated me to get off my butt. And then this morning, I have been filming a haul video, including this dress, which I'm obsessed with, um, and that's why I'm wearing so much makeup, because I don't normally wear this much. But yeah, so today I am heading into town now, and I'm getting a hair treatment slash blow dry. I'm going to a salon called Muse of London and I'm going to be getting a treatment using the products from the Catwalk by TG range, which, as you guys know, I am obsessed with. I have had my hair coloured recently, I had highlights put in, um, really, really pleased with the colour. It's a little bit more natural, I think if you read the blog post that I wrote, again in collaboration with Catwalk by TG a little while ago, you'll have read that I wasn't happy with how my hair looked when it was bleached, it just was too unnatural, really didn't suit me, so what I asked them to do last time I was in the salon was to use a toner to bring this colour a little bit more natural. I still have roots because, I mean, that's my natural hair colour and the bleach is always going to taint the shade. Because of all this torture that I put my hair through, it does require a lot of extra love and attention. I did let you know a few vlogs ago about the honey and oatmeal, or as I like to call it, the Avon and Miel shampoo and conditioner range, and that's what I used this morning. I don't know why I washed my hair this morning when I'm about to get a treatment but um, I'm glad I did because my hair is so soft it's just really great for repairing dry damaged hair which if your hair is coloured like mine is um, it's just such a saviour. My hair feels actually in good condition which is quite crazy considering what I've put it through but because of all this colouring treatment and because we're going into autumn it's that time of year when we have heating and then we have cold spells and we have wind and we have clothes that are like wrapped all around our shoulders potentially breaking our hair. I want wanted to book in for a hair treatment to really nourish it, bring it back to the best health possible and hopefully bring a little bit of shine back. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'll take you along to the salon with me. Um, and then because the salon is on Mortimer Street, which is parallel to Oxford Street, of course I'm going to do a bit of shopping. I have my eye on a bag in Zara. It's pretty much a dupe for the Colt Gaia bags, you know those wooden ones that every blogger has. I don't want to spend that much money but Zara have one that's beautiful and very similar so I might go on a mission for that and then I'm going to a screening later on and it's Reese Witherspoon's new film. Reese is the ambassador for Elizabeth Arden. I have been obsessed with Reese Witherspoon since basically basing my teenage years on Elle Woods from Legally Blonde so it's going to be very surreal meeting my childhood icon if you will. So yeah, that's why I thought I would vlog. It's going to be such a fun day. So let's get going. This little monkey went to the vets this morning. Mm, Was he brave, Daddy? Very brave. I was a brave I boy. I howled at the, another dog in there and I scared oh. him. I scared him quite a bit. I'd quite like a catwalk by TG hair treatment. Oh yes. It would make me nice and glossy. I don't need any hair treatments. I've got glossy fur as it is. I'm so handsome, you see. See you later, Dexy. Mommy loves you. See you later, my sweet Rooney. Okay, so I've just arrived in the salon and Roland is explaining to me what we're gonna do with my hair. So I'm gonna be getting a cat look which I'm very excited about using the catwalk by TG products and he's also offered to cut my hair which I think is definitely needed cannot even tell you the last time I had my hair cut but first of all we're gonna have a nice nourishing treatment so we're gonna find something to repair and hopefully stop the breakage so let's see what he recommends This is potentially the least flattering vlog angle ever, um, but I'm gonna ask Roland to let us know what we are using. Roland, so <laughs> over to you. We're using today the Catwalk Violet Shampoo and Conditioner Mask. Okay, why have you chosen that one? So, since you've been having highlights, just like keeping them fresh. Okay. A fresh looking. Sounds good. Yeah. 
and a nice little head massage as a bonus. I look like Lord Voldemort. <laughs> this looks like a vampire coin. <laughs> I'll speak to you when I'm not looking so crazy. Another very fetching look. I have um, a bag goes in my head and this is because I've got the toning mask in my hair at the moment and it needs about 10 minutes for it to work its magic. It'll just neutralize any brassy tones in my hair and also condition as well. So while that sinks in, I'm going to enjoy my chicken noodle soup. We've just finished blow drying and we put in the Catwalk by TG bodifying spray, just a small amount of this, and it's a little bit of hold but also adds some volume. Um, I was just continually stroking my hair because I can't believe how soft it feels. You know, sometimes when you get a blow dry and you put some products in, it weighs the hair down and you can almost feel it. This just feels like fresh hair with nothing in and yet I still have that volume so definitely going to be um, trying this at home for my at home blow dries. Now we are going to, oh and you can also see the colour just looks a lot more natural, there's no yellow tones, no orangeness and that's because we use this one which is the Fashionista conditioner. This is obviously a salon size but um, the one you can get at home is the same shape as my honey and oatmeal one which I was telling you about earlier. So that's what we've got in at the moment. So I think Roland is now going to add some waves to get that catwalk look. So Roland's just given me another tip. We've put in a little bit of the transforming dry shampoo from the Catwalk by TG range. And this is just going to add a little bit of kind of grit and volume to my hair as we're about to style it. We want the uh, style to last as long as possible. So it's just added a little bit of texture to the hair. salon I honestly cannot get over the color difference in my hair like this is my dream hair color it's not bright blonde I'm moving away from the bleach finally hallelujah um, and it just looks like a really nice kind of autumnal blonde I don't know if you'd call this bronze or blondette I don't know I'm making up words that's how thrilled I am with the hair color but uh, yeah so the whole catwalk by TG salon experience was amazing we've just been shooting some outfit photos to just make the most of while my hair looks good because it's windy and my style may not last long so making the most of it while it lasts um, but yeah seeing as we are on Mortimer Street I think the close proximity to Zara means that we're just gonna have to go and hit the shops so let's go Zara, we're now craving something filling but also healthy. So we're going to check out the new Sweaty Betty flagship, which I can see from here, good, we are in the right place, because um, they basically shut down their very small Carnaby Street store and have launched a massive, I think it's like a three story flagship. So looking forward to checking this out, look at some new fitness wear and hopefully find some healthy snacks. It's a 
tell me I look good They tell me I am fine But they never seem to ever let me come inside They tell me I look good They tell me I am fine I want you to show me love Okay, so we're on the top floor of the Sweaty Betty flagship and there's a fun girl cafe here and I've just got a DIY decorate your own donut um, and a skin rejuvenating smoothie is on its way. They also allow dogs here. I've just met the most beautiful dappled short haired Daxi called Al Alfie was it? Alfie. No. Something along those lines, but he was beautiful. He was beautiful, everything. Else. So now that we know that this is here and that you can get healthy snacks all day and you can bring dogs, it's basically going to become my new office. Yay. Arnie. The dog's name was Arnie. Okay, so after a quick tootle around Soho in a few shops and just falling in love with the Sweaty Betty flagship, um, we are now on our way to the Athenium. I think that's what it's called. And that is a hotel where we're meeting the girls from Elizabeth Arden. And we are then going to be going across the road to the Curzon Cinema, which is where the screening is going to be. Can't remember the name of the film, but you will see that in a second. And um, Reese with a Spoon is going to be like launching it and introducing it. So hopefully I'll be able to film a few clips with her. Home again. Uh, home again. Home again is the name of the film. Um, I'm going to try not to be a stalker, but at the same time I do really want to get a picture with her. <laughs> but I'm not good at being a fangirl, so we shall see. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, on another note, really impressed with how this foundation has lasted. And I wish I could remember which one I put on. Mm. <laughs> it was really cakey earlier, but I like how it's kind of glowing now. I think it was the Bare Minerals Complexion Pro, which I'm loving at the moment. But I put the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer on before that, so maybe that's why it's lasting a long time. So that's a little skincare update for you. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we are now at the Athenaeum. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Whatever I said before Athenaeum. was wrong. Okay, Athenaeum. Um, and we're here for the kind of, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but we're here for the reception of the film with the Alyssa Darling girls. And with lots of other lovely ladies.
again, no pun intended, as that was the name of the film. It was such a lovely film. So Reese Witherspoon introduced it, as you guys saw. And um, yeah, it's kind of hard to describe the plot. I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys, but it's a really nice chick flick. Not the kind of one that your boyfriend wouldn't want to watch. I feel like Charlie would really enjoy that one as well. Definitely one that I'm gonna have to get on DVD to keep on my video rack. Um, video, God, that shows my age. DVD or Blu-ray rack. Anyway, so home again. It's only nine o'clock, so not too much of a late night for Granny over here. But I'm gonna have a really nice pamper skincare routine. After a day in the city, I feel like I need it. Also in our goodie bags from Elizabeth Arden, we got some of their ceramide capsules. These are probably one of my favorite skincare things ever. They just feel like liquid silk on your face. So, so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off and then apply some new skincare. used micellar water to get rid of all my makeup and then I used the Sanoflor Botanical Essence which is kind of like a toner but a little bit more gentle. Uh, the rest of my evening skincare routine happens in bed so tonight and I don't always do this but I have quite a lot of blemishes at the moment um, I think from fashion week and dehydration and being in the city too much so I'm going to put on my favourite spot remover. This I have been using since one of my friends recommended this to me about five years ago and it's probably the second product I ever bought from Origins. Fairly expensive for how small it is, but this is the super spot remover and it is the only thing that I would pretty much ever use on my spots ever again because it's so good. You can really feel it tingle um, and you only need a tiny bit, so it doesn't really matter that it's so small. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my blemishes. Sorry, TMI, but that's what we gotta do. Next, I'm going to deal with my under eyes, anti-aging, anti-puffiness, etc. This is from the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair range. I am a huge fan of this entire range and I switch the Advanced Night Repair into my evening routine on and off all the time. This is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Rematrix um, and I'm just gonna use the applicator that comes in the pot to put a little bit on my fingers and then dab that into my under eye. And now the stage I have most been looking forward to. This is one of the little Elizabeth Arden ceramide capsules. It's filled with the Youth Restoring Serum, I think it's called, which is honestly the most incredibly textured serum you'll ever apply to your face. I used to use these all the time when I was traveling because they're so good you can just kind of pick the amount that you need depending on the amount of days you're going traveling. Just twist the top and then put the serum on your face. Honestly, if you ever try these, you'll get hooked. They feel so, so good. So I'm gonna apply this all over my face now. Oh my goodness, I just have no words for how soft my face is right now. These are just incredible, honestly. Cannot recommend them enough. Try and get yourself a little sample pot if you ever see them in a gift with purchase, but trust me, you'll become addicted. Um, so now I don't want to like blend this out with my moisturizer or anything, so what I tend to do is leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes with just this on my face, um, which is normally when Charlie would come up, start watching TV, I'm sure he'll be up any second. And then in about 20 minutes, I will put on my moisturizer. I vary it up with my moisturizers. Um, I have a really nice Elemis one, which I absolutely love. It is the um, Peptide Night Recovery Cream Oil. This is one that I absolutely love. And then more recently, I've been trying the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Night Cream, which is really good for just continually regenerating those skin cells on your face, keeping your skin glowing. So that's probably what I'll pop on tonight in about 25 minutes time. But for now, um, I think I'm gonna sign off actually. I was gonna do maybe a two day vlog, but having looked at my diary tomorrow, is a little bit manic. So I don't think I'll be able to vlog too much. So I hope you don't mind that this is a one day vlog. Let me know um, if you like these kind of one day vlogs or if you'd rather I did weekly vlogs. Just let me know your thoughts down below. Um, and if you got this far, leave a little sparkle emoji interpret that how you will down in the description box below or the comment section so I know if you got to the end. Um, and yeah, that's all from me. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one.